Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another media. Today we're going to Starbucks. We are gonna try something different. We're gonna try something new, something that just came out. It was the pumpkin cream cold brew. Now, what does it have? So it didn't just come out. It comes out every year. Correcting me. Man. Four. <laughs> What would I do without you? I'd be giving like wrong information all the time. <laughs> it comes out every year, you know, for so fall it just, season. It did just come out. This I, I year. Didn't, okay, but I didn't say it was a new product. Like I said, it just come. It just right, came out. Right, but okay, whatever. Right. So <laughs> it says it's two pumps of vanilla syrup and the toppings are pumpkin spice topping mm. and pumpkin cream cold foam. Mm. And then I think it comes with espresso it has to have yeah i believe so right yeah it should maybe anything we can ask but i think right. it does um it and does then, espresso right there espresso oh right here shop. it starbucks cold brew sweetened with vanilla syrup and topped with a pumpkin cream cold foam and dusting of pumpkin spice topping mm. Oh, okay, and then that the cold good. brew is the coffee down. You go, boom. <laughs> yes, that and then good. somebody that I follow, um, she recommends to get it with extra pumpkin cold foam. So that's what I'm going to do with Extra today. what? Pumpkin cold foam. Exactly like what that means. Twister. I've never had it. Oh, this is going to so. be interesting because she's actually going to get it. I'm going to get my regular coffee. But you know what? Actually, no, I'm going to get that coffee. Okay, so here's the thing, guys. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. it I already matter. know what's going to happen. I'm gonna like it. You're not gonna like it, and then we paid like ten dollars for Starbucks. Okay, so how about we just get yours first? I try it from yours. If I like it, I'll get one. If not, then I'll get my regular one. That sounds like a so good. So we're gonna idea. have to place two orders. Oh, well, one order first, and then you know. another order after. Right. So I just wanna oh, try it. Man, I swear. All right, let's go. So we got our pumpkin cream cold, cold brew, brew. <laughs> with extra pumpkin cream foam it's like such a tongue twister like he says they gave her a uh, venti instead of a grande yeah and uh, we decided to just step out of the store and just you know let it be that looks so good Not that gonna lie, foam it does up look there good. Yeah, like, it just looks like it's gonna be so creamy can Hopefully. you tell i'm so excited it's, that's what we like about the brown sugar espresso is the creaminess of the drink itself so we're so excited so we're on the way we're on the way home and we're gonna try them at the house so yeah we were contemplating whether we should try it here in the car because of how good it looked. But we're right. going to just try it at home. We're going home. We're going to try it at the house. Yeah. So we made it home. Yes. These are our coffees. Now we can finally try them. I, I did so, smell it. It smells so good. I know. It smells so good. Your I drink agree. looks funny because of your big straw. And the little drink. <laughs> so funny thing is that yeah, so uh, we found out that they had no grande cup, so they gave her a venti, and she paid for a grande. So yeah. So now I have coffee for three days. <laughs> All right. So the moment of truth, right? Here we go. Should we mix it or? I kind of did do that. I was like looking. I was doing it with the, so, with the straw. I just wanted also because we got extra foam. pumpkin cold foam or it's whatever very that's foamy. called. So when we got it originally, it had like this much of foam, but it looks like it starts blending into the coffee. So it goes down. Some I know somebody that they get extra, extra pumpkin cold foam. Oh so I guess we'll see if it's that good. Is it still enough that they want more and more and more? <laughs> All right. All right. Let's uh, let's uh, try it. One, two, three. It's good. Wow. I'm it's telling you, good, it might... but it tastes like a vanilla iced coffee. Really? I don't think it tastes like a vanilla iced coffee. Yeah, those are the vibes I'm getting. Really? Okay, I can see where, yeah, I can see where you taste the French vanilla, but the pumpkin kicks in after. You want to try mine? Yeah. Then switch. Maybe because you got a fancy. Yours tastes different. Yeah, yours, yeah, this one tastes different. That one just tastes, I like mine though. No, it's good. It's not bad, but mine has more pumpkin flavor. So I'm gonna try the foam. The foam's good? Should I do that? Oh, this foam is so good! Should I do that? Is that why they get extra? Oh, this is heaven. It's like, this is the... Ooh. Sorry guys, this is kind of gross. We're like... <laughs> no, I mean, this is good. This is what I want in the coffee. It's like a whipped 
cream kind of mm. like. Okay. Well, look, just just take the top off and then mix everything <laughs> take a together. Take and then lick the top. <laughs> yeah, and then lick and then just you know, mix this everything is why, together. Yep. Now I know why she gets extra. Makes so much sense. That is fire. Oh yeah. Once you put the foam in, try it now. It's still not good. It just tastes like a vanilla iced coffee. Is it just me? I think it's just you, cause I. You tasted it in mine. I see. I don't know if it has more coffee than mine, and that's I'm why I'm waiting taste. for the pumpkin flavor, and that's what I don't taste. Like, taste I mine though. Do you it. taste the pumpkin in mine? Because I do taste it in mine. A little bit. So I like it. It's it's good. I'm not gonna say I don't like it, but to me, it just doesn't taste like a pumpkin. I think I think your expectations were like. I was expecting a lot something. of pumpkin flavor. I was ex so what I was thinking was it was gonna taste like a brown sugar shaken, right? Mm -hmm. But not brown sugar, more so like pumpkin, like that creaminess that so, it has. Right. So when when you try a brown sugar shaken espresso, you wait for that creamy cinnamon flavor. Is that what you were waiting for? But right. The pumpkin. But not exactly. Instead of creamy cinnamon, creamy pumpkin flavor. This is very light. It's light because it's only in in this part. Right. But the foam is amazing. The foam is the really foam good. The foam really good. But nice. you see, the foam here doesn't taste good. It's the foam on my cup. Oh, this one tastes good. It's not bad. I just don't think I'd get it again. Really? So what do you give it? Like, 1 out of 10? Damn. My expectations were so high. I give it, like, a 6. Maybe Actually, five. I like it because I like that it's very light. It's not very strong. The flavor doesn't it doesn't blow you away. You know what I mean? Like it's a very right. easy so. drink, right? So it's very a chill drink. I like it. Uh, I, I can give it a seven and a half. Um, I probably get this in the morning. You know, like when we're going somewhere, I just want something light and normal. I yeah. would just get this in the morning. If not, I would just get the brown sugar. I think that um. I have to try it again, maybe from a different place, see if somebody makes it different. Probably. I don't know. It just looks like it's a drink that's supposed to be thick and creamy and like pumpkin-y and it's really not. Right. If you guys have ever ordered this uh, drink and you guys have specific instructions that you want to give us so that we can order it again and try it again, leave it in the comments so that we can actually go to Starbucks and maybe try it a different way. Or. Tell us your favorite Starbucks drink. <laughs> That's a good one too. That too. I'm probably gonna. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put it on Instagram. Um, like you, you said. Do like a poll or tally. Too. Right. No, I'm gonna let people tell us their drinks, and you know, we'll try to do it like once a week, a different drink from Starbucks, and we'll make it like a weekly Thanks. Starbucks, you know, video. I think though that we shouldn't both get the same thing. We can do like two different ones in one yeah. video. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'll get one, you get one. And then you know that would be nice and you know maybe we should also make it a goal to try all the pumpkin flavors that are out i did see one that it, it intrigued me but i don't know if i'd like it it's like apple spice something mm. did you see it, <laughs> it was i did like, see your, your spinach feathers back oh yeah it's been a while that starbucks doesn't have a few of their food items um for example, when we were in Orlando, I wanted the spinach feta wrap that they had, the egg white wrap. Yeah. And they didn't have it. The other day when we went, they still didn't have it. Now so they do. Today they have it, but they're out of their ham and cheese croissants. One thing comes and back. And our Starbucks doesn't have that wrap that you like with the sausage, the bacon, the potatoes. The one that I ate in Orlando, right. Yeah. I didn't see it on the menu and mm -hmm. I haven't seen it anywhere around here. So I don't know if maybe it's the Universal Hotels that I have did. that specific. You did? Where? Yeah. Was it here? It wasn't here, I think. Oh no, I was driving back down from Orlando. We stopped at Starbucks, right? Yeah, we stopped at a Starbucks over there. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Oh, right here. Iced apple crisp oatmeal macchiato. Mm. I don't think I'd like that. Apple? I wonder how that would taste. It has a blonde espresso. Okay, 
layered flavors of apple, cinnamon, oat, and brown sugar combine in harmony with Starbucks Blonde Espresso creamy oat milk, ice, and spiced apple drizzle to create a delicious apple crisp you can sip. <laughs> wow. Very overwhelming. I don't know if I'd like that. Don't know how that would taste, but maybe we could try it, you know? Yeah. I wish they would sell like little samples. That way you could just they just make your drink. No, that would be great. That. Like little, Starbucks. like little mini tall, some the mini tall drink. Starbucks, I think you should take that into consideration. Oh, oh and we can't forget about the bakery, the pumpkin stuff they take out for the holidays. So fun fact, me and Fernie love the pumpkin loaf. Is it pumpkin? Yeah. Yeah, the pumpkin, pumpkin loaf. loaf from Starbucks. But we thought that it was only seasonal. And then somebody's like told us that no, it's not seasonal. They have it all year round. And we're like, what? They do. We ate it so much that so now we're just tired of it. Yeah, I, don't like <laughs> I think we had one the other day that we shared and it was good, but it's like that initial like oomph that it had the first time. Yeah, it's, it's gone not because same. we've tried just we've tried it so much. Now for the holidays, they have the pumpkin cream cheese muffin and the pumpkin scone. I've never had a scone before. It's a scone. Oh. <laughs> there, the pumpkin scone. Is that a scone or scone? Is that is, or scone? Scone. Sc scone. Five hundred calories. Heck no, that's crazy. Well, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any of our future videos. We thank you guys so much for joining today's Starbucks adventure. First of many, hopefully. We'll have many more. Did I say Starbucks? Yeah, you said it weird. Yeah, I meant Starbucks. <laughs> I didn't mean Starbucks. If you're new here, make sure you go ahead and subscribe, like I said, please. Oh no, thank you for watching. <laughs> Why wouldn't you though? Why wouldn't you subscribe? Why wouldn't you not subscribe? I think we're fun. <laughs> I think so. Let me know if we're not. I Are mean, we boring? No. Thank you guys and we'll see you guys in our next video. Peace. We wish you guys can stay, but... It's time for you to go. Bye. That was my line. What you're are you always, doing you're with the straw? I'm trying to get the phone. Weirdo.